Hey, what's going on guys? Coach HB back in the house with another home workout on the series of this home workout in this current moment where we may be quarantined, we may be stuck in our houses. But I, what I want to say as well, these videos are not just going to be for this period of time. You can do this anytime, even afterwards. As I said uh, in the previous video where we looked at uh, back movements and, and uh, bicep movements, if you a kind of person that's traveling all the time for work uh, and you're in the hotel rooms, this is great. You can do this anywhere. You don't need any equipment. All you need is a couple of bands. Today, we've got two bands we're going to be using, the red band and the purple band. And we're going to be looking at uh, chest, so push movement, chest, triceps, and uh, delts as well, shoulders. So we're first going to start with chest. And as I mentioned in the back video, we need to look at working through the range of each muscle group. So we need to look at, for example, uh, as we did yesterday uh, with the bicep, lengthen range, mid range and short range. The chest is the same thing, the triceps is the same thing and the shoulders are the same thing. So with the chest, we need to think about length and range where we are in the length and position where the chest is stretched short range where the chest is contracted and the mid range which is typically an, a, 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 a normal press which also gets a little bit of the length and range as well so how can we actually do this without any equipment well one of the biggest things you can do and a lot of people do this is press ups that gets it's like a, 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 a reverse dumbbell uh, press or a reverse bench press on the floor um, a lot of people unfortunately are not capable of doing a press up, a correct press up. So the bands are great and you, depending on what uh, strength band you want, you can use this if you're really weak, uh, you can use a medium strength band or if you're really strong, you can go for one of the strongest bands such as a green band or, a, uh, or an orange band or a blue band. Uh, but let's start with the mid band. So let's first try and think about a press. So what do we need to do? All you need is the floor, you hold the band this way behind you. That's where you want to be. Now from here, sit the blade down on the floor. I'm going to show you from the front and then I'll show you from back afterwards. So from here, what we're going to think about, we're going to think about a normal press. So the goal is to bring the bicep towards the chest. I'm going to show you from the side so you can see. So from here, Elbows in, we're not going to have the elbows back here. Elbows slightly in, about 45 degrees from the hip to the elbow. And from here, just think about pressing up with your biceps coming towards your chest. Squeeze at the top, come back nice and control all the way down. Squeeze at the top, come back nice and control all the way down. And that works more the mid to um, length and range, but mainly the mid range of of the chest so that's the start now just as I said yesterday let's look at doing this on a superset basis so go from one exercise to another exercise to another exercise and you can do three rounds of that four rounds of that five rounds of that it's entirely up to you how you do it Raming uh, rep, rep range between 8 and 12 if it's too light of course you can do more reps as well you can work throughout the reps whatever feels comfortable for you if you want to get more reps in there absolutely to go for it especially if the load is not heavy enough you might want to do more reps uh, absolutely no problem at all um, but the basis of the workout should always be uh, based on working your weaker points first although I showed you the mid range that should be the last one uh, of the chest because that is where you're going to be the strongest so you will need to work mainly on the short range and the length and range I would basically advise you to do length and range short range mid range so that this press that I've just showed you should be the last one of the chest press. What I want to show you now is the um, short range. Now we want to do a bit more of a, a, a fly squeezing the chest to the top. It's a very similar movement. So we're going to put it behind us. And then for me, instead of pressing up now, we're going to think about driving our bicep towards the chest, but you're going to think about driving in and squeezing at the top. So you are almost touching your hands. You can think about driving up and then in. Squeeze at the top. Come back nice and controlled. Up, in, squeeze at the top. 
nice and controlled up in squeeze at the top up in squeeze at the top and you should feel a good contraction in the top so now we've covered a bit more of that short range where you're contracting at the top really squeezing instead of just a press there you're now rotating and bringing it in and really squeezing those fibers in so now we gain more of that short range now to get more of the length and range it's a little bit difficult on the floor and the reason it's difficult on the floor is because we're not able to take our arm back because the floor doesn't allow us so a good place to do to do it this on is if you're at home is to do it on a chair so sit down on a chair I don't have a chair here but I've got the leg extension which is pretty much a chair so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and it's really simple so get your chair this goes behind the chair you then sit on your chair bring this across now for me we're not able to get more of a stretch because the chair allows us to go back a bit more so now we're a bit more in the length and range now from here now we're going to think about doing a fly so we're going to think about driving that bicep towards the chest once again squeezing at the top get all the way back nice and controlled pause in that length and range squeeze and hold at the top keep your abs nice and tight squeeze squeeze and hold all the way back get that good stretch at the bottom pause there engage your chest squeeze what this allows you to do guys all of these exercises because the load is not that much allows you to really focus on the form which can actually be great for later on when we're allowed back in the gyms um, to be able to actually keep that form a lot tighter um, so this will allow you to, to for your body to kind of reset a little bit and, and learn the movement with a lot less load so that you can keep that form on point when you go back and start adding more load to it um, so we've covered the normal chest press on the floor we've covered a little bit of uh, the, the, the short range where we're contracting more at the top on the floor and you can get a chair and get more the length and range um, of, of the chest so we kind of covered a little bit um, all the ranges there as well now what we can do as well is with the chest we've got different top we've got the top chest we've got uh, mid chest and we've got uh, the bottom of the chest we've got all of those areas that we can work as well so for example you could work behind here you could go more towards your costals so instead of going here you could go a bit more below to get a, set, a different area so the, the bottom area the costal area of the chest so you could go down squeeze and you can also do your press here as well you don't have to do it on the floor so you've got the options it ju you just need something so that the band can wrap onto um, so you can like I said you can use the costal at the bottom so you can chop and change so for example today you could focus more on the mid on, on the mid portion of the chest tomorrow you could focus more on the costal if you can you can put it underneath and maybe do the top chest by going up so there's lots of different things you can do with bands fantastic fantastic little things these are and that you can do this anywhere you need a floor you need a chair you're pretty much ready to go so that's chest covered like I said focus on doing um, anything from 8 to 12 if the band is challenging you if the band's too easy go a bit more higher reps get more uh, get more reps in there get to get more fatigue in there um, to actually work the muscle as much as we possibly can once we've done that let's look at triceps right guys so with the triceps similar situation we want to work on the short range we want to work work on the mid range so here so short range we're going back mid range there and the length and range is going to be here where we're stretching the uh, tricep and again really really easy and simple all you need is a band now let's work on the mid range first so mid range typically a press up would be really good now you can do this on your knees you can do this against a chair you can do this against the wall depending on how strong you are um, and what you can do so most females doing this potentially may be struggling to do press-ups from from the floor such as this 
And how would you set up for a press up on the floor or on the wall? What I want you to think about is when we go our arms to the side, just bring your arms up. That is the setup. So just think about naturally there. Now just bring your arms up as a bicep curl. That is the position. So now, once I've done that, this is my position. That's where I should be for my tricep push ups. So if I'm here, Again, you can do this against the chair. So think about doing that. That's your position there. You can go on your knees if you need to. And then there's your tricep there. You can do this against the wall, uh, the settee. It doesn't matter. And that works your mid-range. Now to work the length and range and the short range, it takes a bit more thought process. You need one of these. So really, really easy. What you do, is you're gonna hook this to your ankle just like that then across your body onto this side okay on this side make sure the band is between that that shoulder and the collarbone right in between there from there to work the short range really simple now we're going to drive this down as far as we can contracting our tricep at the bottom so nice and neutral abs stay tight all the way down squeeze at the bottom halfway up all the way down, squeeze at the bottom. This is great. You will feel an amazing contraction of the tricep at the bottom of that movement. Then you just swap to the other side. And then how can we do this for the length and range? Well, pretty much the same. Now you can bring it back to this side so it's on the same leg. And then from here, we're gonna make sure we're gonna stretch the tricep. So, arm up about a 90 degree there. Tricep is, is stabilized by your other hand. And then from here now, you're getting that stretch. So you can take that leg back a little bit more so you get a bit more of a stretch and then squeeze and in. If you feel that's not enough tension, you can grab the band a little bit more there. So straight away there, I feel the tension immediately on my tricep. So it's ready to go from the length and range. And then from there, Another fantastic exercise here for the triceps. And again, you can use the red band, the black band, the purple band, depending again on your on your uh, strength. Um, but once again, we've covered mid range, length and range, short range. Simple, really really easy. Next one to cover is side delt, which I'm a big fan of doing on a push movement. Uh, although it's not a pushing movement, I like to do it because it kind of tags in a real, really well with chest shoulders and triceps and then again let's focus on working through its full range so we're looking at, at um, the length and range of the delt so if I'm thinking about the delt side delt here I'm thinking about length and range which is stretching thinking about mid range and I'm thinking about short range at the top where it's contracting so how easy is that well really really simple guys first of all let's work the short range at the top step on here from here now depends on how much tension you want to keep there if that's too much tension for you to get to the top where it's short keep it less so you've got more so it's it's easier the bottom and it starts getting harder at the top and then you're going to challenge that area more at the top so what i suggest you do is you're going to lean a little bit back keep your abs tight neutral spine so your arm is slightly in front of you thumb pointed towards the floor and then from there think about driving towards you Pause at the top and back down. Pause at the top and back down, halfway. As soon as you feel the tension going, stop. That's your starting position, all the way up. Good, and then from there, how do we work the mid-range? We'll give it a bit more tension on the band with standing on it. So from here now, more mid-range. Similar situation, we're gonna think about going that way, hips a little bit back, so that is working. And no front delt, no traps, literally just a side delt. And then, to get more of that length and range, what we need, we need to actually put this somewhere. So a really nice way to do this is at the bottom of your stairs, your staircase, just wrap that around your staircase at the bottom. 
and then what you can do is you can depending again on the band you want to put a bit more tension on the band you can and then from here straight away I'm feeling that on the length and range there I'm feeling a stretch now my thought process to drag that down to, towards the ground so from here so the load immediately kicks in in that length and range and there you have it guys that's your chest your triceps and your side delts in one session this is how I would do this if I was traveling or if I was stuck at home I would go for length and range for anything between 8 to 20 reps I would go for the short range in the same rep range from one to the other so go length and range short range mid range straight to a tricep short range length and range press up for the mid range straight to the, to the uh, side delts um, short range length and range mid range and I'll do that three rounds four rounds five rounds depending on how I'm feeling simple as that guys all you need is a couple of bands that's it a chair which you can find anywhere uh, and somewhere to attach it here and there but this should give you um, a lot to do to do in the next few weeks days that you stuck at home if you haven't watched the video yesterday on back and biceps I'll click a link below I'll put a link below for that so you can watch that as well and uh, stay tuned for some more uh, workouts coming out to you uh, to help you through these moments uh, whether you are home whether you uh, wherever you are um, if you can't get to the gym this is great and I hope that uh, it helps you uh, as much as I think it will so thank you so much for watching again guys really appreciate your time I hope that you're healthy I hope that you're getting through this um, as much uh, with as much positivity as possible I know it's really gloom and doom at the moment out there stay positive let's stay strong as, as a society let's stay strong as as, um, as a community let's work together let's e help each other out it's not time to make money this is not a time to uh, rip people off this is a time to help to stick together and be good humans have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next video